Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the GE washer drive pulley kit. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at ApplianceParsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the tech sheet, a new nut, and the new drive pulley. The drive pulley is attached to the shaft that comes out of the back of the drum. The main reason to be changing it is if these flats are worn out and the pulley is wobbling. In order to get to the part, we have to remove the access panel on the back of the washer. If you have to pull it out farther than the hoses, obviously you're going to have to disconnect it, but you can probably just get behind it and take the access panel off. We're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to remove it. With the screws out of the way, we have to pull the panel out so these tabs release. All you have to do is push down on it and flex it a little bit. You don't want to bend the panel when you're pulling it out, but just carefully release it. Once you have the top out, you can pull the bottom out. Set the panel aside. Now that we have access to the inside of the washer, if your belt has fallen off, all you have to do is reach in and take it off. If it's still on the pulleys, you have to pull out on one side while turning the pulley. Make sure you don't get your finger caught in here. And then it'll let the belt come off the pulleys. Once you have the belt off, you can pull it out. Now that we have the belt out of the way, we can take the pulley off. We have to take off this big nut. It's a 24 millimeter. And we're going to take a hammer handle. You can use a piece of wood or whatever you have. And put it in here so we can hold the pulley while we take the nut off. If it's not that tight, you can just pull the hammer out right away and take the nut off. With the nut out of the way, we can pull the pulley off so we can get the new one on. Here's the old drive pulley kit next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new pulley on, all you have to do is line up the flats on the pulley with the flats on the shaft and then you can push it back on into place. With the new pulley in place, we can install the new nut. Make sure you use the new one. It comes with a new plastic thread lock on there. You don't want it to come loose. And same as when you took it off, you're going to probably have to use a hammer or a piece of wood to stop the drum from turning. And again, we're going to use that 24 millimeter socket. If you have a torque wrench, you can break it out and set it to 44 foot-pounds. We're going to turn ours a quarter past snug. Once you have it tightened down, you can put the belt back on. To put the belt on, we're going to put the belt around the pulley and line it up with the grooves and hold it in place while we stretch the right side up over the bigger pulley and then kind of like a bike chain we're going to hold it and turn it and as the pulley turns it'll stretch the belt out and put it on. As you're turning it around you really want to make sure you hold it onto the pulley up here so it doesn't fall off. Once you have the belt on, give the pulley a few spins to make sure the belt doesn't pop off. Then we can put the access panel back on. All you have to do is set it down into the lower mounting tabs. And then to put the top in, you may have to flex it just a little bit to get these tabs on the top to go in. Once you have the panel in there, you may have to pull up on a little bit to line up the screw holes. Now that we have the panel reinstalled, we can use our Phillips screwdriver to put the screws back in. Now that we have the access panel reinstalled, we can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair, brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, 
Facebook, and YouTube.